Cruiser Racing Tires at its finest. Don't even ask me why I decided to put this in the beginning of the video, because I don't. I'll get to that in a bit. Welcome back to Pocono Raceway after three years since Season 1, which was in the NASCAR Spring Cup Series, and now we're going to test the Orca and Xfinity drivers will test their skills here for the first time in the Diecast Series, Racing Series season. In the Diecast Racing Series, excuse me there. Also, another thing I need to, I need to know, this track is is really slick now, so both Hoosier and Goodyear tires may be a problem coming off of turn three and entering turn one. Turn two, um, it shouldn't be a problem, but it might be exiting turn three and entering turn one. Your winner at New Jersey, who which was just the last race, and the winner at Talladega, Sarah Cornett, is your pole setter for today, with Gene Paul second, Bobby Gernhardt. Starts third. Steve Fox in a new sponsor with Reese's on board. He will start fourth. And Brad Smith starts fifth. That's pretty much about it, so let's just get right into the command. Drivers, start your engine. Well, you already know what's next. The starting lineup for today's ARCA race at the Tricky Triangle. Row 1, Sarah Connett Shang in Rusty Wallace colors. Alongside her is Gene Paul in Lightning McQueen colors once more from Cars 3. As seen at the Toledo race. Row 2 is Bobby Gernhardt and Steve Fox. Brad Smith and Thomas Prater, John Fear. And Kyle Benjamin, Frank Kimmel, and Justin Lloyd, Will Kimmel, and um, John West Townley, Austin Wayne Self, and Bobby Jr., Daryl Basham, and Kevin Thomas, Cole Custer, and Bubba Wallace. Rounding out the field is Ryan Reed, as he is back sponsoring M&M's. M&M's is back on the 38 Ford. Alongside him is Tyler Aldi in the 12. We're underway here at the Tricky Triangle at the Pocono Mountains. Bobby Gernhardt in the Kellogg Chevrolet is going to pull away from the pack, but Thomas Prater and others are finding for position as well. As he leads close up as him and Prater make contact, he's really making a lot of friends this season. Cole Custer, NASCAR Fan 77, and now Bobby, who's next? Gene Paul in the lead with Steve Fox and Sarah Connect gaining. Sarah Logan going for back to back wins and going for the third win of the season. Here comes Justin Lloyd playing the lead and will take the lead one more time around Pocono. John Fear in the 43 giving Petty Enterprise a redemption and he goes to the outside and he will win at Pocono. Sideways goes Brad Smith and Steve will know where to go. He gets involved. But they will come in the top ten at least, so that's a good thing. But I told you, I told you, these Hoosa tires are going to cause some problems um, here. This new, uh, in this um, new um, configured poke in a raceway with new grooves to the race added to the racetrack. I told you, um, the tires are going to be a problem. I told you. All right. Coming to the finish line, both Brad and Steve lose control coming off the of three. Bobby Hamilton Jr. makes through unscathed, unharmed. The same goes with Basham, who just snuck through there on the inside. Ryan Reed on the outside. You see Will Kimmel nowhere to go. And they just crash. Whew, a hot day here at the Pocono Mountains. Let's take a look at the top 10 finishing order, shall we? Like we usually do every race. 
since the season since season four. Um, since season four started out with Speed Weeks at Daytona. Anyway, John Fear with the first. Justin Lloyd with the second. Sarah Connett with the third. Gene Paul fourth. Brad Smith another top five finish. Bobby Hamilton Jr. sixth. Steve Fox seventh. Will Kimmel eighth. Ryan Reed ninth. And Bubba Wallace with the tenth. This is your top ten finishing order. Here is the top 10 rate, uh, point standings. Excuse me. NASCAR fan 77 still with the first. With him still sidelined for, for an amount of time. Sarah Connett still in second. Brad Smith up to third. Kyle Benjamin drops back to fourth. Frank Kimmel with the top five. Steve Fox sixth. Thomas Prater seventh. Bobby Gernhardt eighth. Will Kimmel ninth. And Gene Paul with a 10. This is your top 10 point standings. Another win for Pet Enterprises here at Pocono Raceway. And John Fair gets the job done. Is in the Arca Harris chase for the cha chase for the championship. With that win under his belt here today, he is eligible for the win for the championship win. But will that happen? We are about to find out when we when when the Arca series come to Kansas for the final race of the season. Smoke the tires so much that he cooked the engine, but he don't care. Stop eight, Michigan, for the Arca series. So I think this means. We're going to have a lot of controversy on who, whether or not, is going to make the chase. Now that we are halfway through the season in the Arca Series. Up next is more racing action here at Long Pond, Pennsylvania. But NASCAR Xfinity Series stars and rookies come out for the win to lock themselves into the playoffs in the Xfinity Series, which will be up next here at Pocono Raceway. Dale Jr. Fan signing off, and I'll see you next time. Or should I say, hopefully soon.